Hi, my name is Rong Yu, and I am a program manager working on Windows Server 2012 Essentials. One of the key support in Windows Server 2012 Essentials is the ability to integrate with an on-premise exchange server that is set up on a second server and offer integrated user mailbox management experience. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to configure a central server to integrate with an on-premise exchange server and how to manage user mailboxes from Essentials. Here, I've already set up two virtual machines on my Hyper-V host, one running Windows Server 2012 Essentials, the other running Exchange Server 2010 SP2 on top of Windows Server 2008R2. You can actually see both servers under the Device tab on the Essential Server dashboard. The first one is the Exchange Server, the second one is the Essential Server itself. Next, I'm going to turn on the on-premise exchange integration on Essentials. Let's go to the Home tab on the dashboard. Let's expand on the Email tab for email options. As you can see, there are two options available out of box for email integration. The first one is to integrate with Microsoft Office 365. The second one is to integrate with an on-premise exchange server. Let's just select the second option. Now let's click the Setup Exchange Server Integration task on the right. This launches the Configuration Wizard. The Getting Started page of the wizard basically tells you what the wizard will do and what you can expect after the wizard completes. Let's just click Next. The wizard will automatically detect the on-premise exchange server and makes necessary configurations on the essential server for the integration. The wizard is now completed. When you click Close, the wizard will automatically restart the dashboard to allow all the configuration changes to take effect. Let's go ahead and click Close. The server is now configured to work with on-premise exchange server. As you can see, the configuration experience is very straightforward and just requires three simple clicks. Now that the integration is turned on, let's take a look at what kind of integrated mailbox management experience you can get from the Essentials dashboard. Let's just click the Users tab on the dashboard. The first thing you will notice is that there is a new email column added on the dashboard, which displays email address for users. Next, I'm going to launch the Add User Wizard from the task pane on the right to add a new user. This is a wizard you are already familiar with. Let's just create an account for my colleague David Fabricius. and click Next. The next page is a new page inserted into the Add User Wizard when the integration with on-premise Exchange Server is enabled. It allows an admin to enter the email address of the new user and the mailbox quarter. The email address defaults to the username and then the mailbox quarter is set to 2 gigabytes by default. I'm good with all the default settings, so I'll just click Next. The next page is an existing page in the Add User Wizard for conferring shared photo access. I'll just keep the default settings here and click Next. The next page is also an existing page in the Add User Wizard for conferring anywhere access permissions. Again, I'll just keep the default settings here for David and click Create Account to create this user account.
Now the new user account for David is created. Let's close the wizard. On the dashboard, you can see the new user account with email address davidfabricius at contoso.com is created. If I double click on the new user account, it will bring up the user properties dialog. As you can see, there is a new email tab on the user's properties dialog. Let's click on this tab. Here it displays the email address of the user and the mailbox quoting information. You can change either of the settings here. For example, I can shorten the email address to be just a David F here and click OK. Next, I'll show you the delete user experience when an on-premise exchange integration is enabled. Let's just select the new user account we created for David and click the remove the user account task on the taskbar. The first page is an already existing page to confirm if you want to keep the files on the server. Let's leave the checkbox empty to keep the files and click next. The next page is a new page added to the delete user wizard. It asks if you want to delete the mailbox right away or retain it. Since I want to keep it, I just leave the checkbox empty and click next. The next page is a final confirmation to delete the user account. Again, this is an already existing page in the delete user wizard. I'll go ahead and click delete account. The user account is not deleted while the user mailbox is retained. This concludes my demo. As you can see, after you turn on the integration with the on-premise exchange server, you get a similar integrated mailbox management experience as you get from the previous SPS standard servers. If you haven't tried the Windows Server 2012 Essentials beta, I highly recommend you to download the beta and try it today. You can also send us feedback via the beta forum on TechNet. Thank you very much.